What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new black pudding dessert. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. I haven't tried it. I'm not going to try it. Just tell me how to tell me the experience you're getting from it down below in the comments. So in this video, we're going to be talking about databases. The reason why is because we're going to, well, in the, in the next few videos, we're going to be talking about the Z axis, AKA data partitioning. And the reason why we're talking about databases is because when you're trying to scale a Node.js application across instances, the need for a database is actually real. <laughs> you need it. When we have multiple instances of the same process cloned, they need to act on the same data, but the memory used on each instance is not really shared. Hence why we need a database. So that way they could all be in sync with the same data. And this app that I have, I have right here will show you exactly what I'm talking about, about the instances not having the same data stored. So let's actually run this application. So let's go to a terminal, a new terminal, node, uh, database. That's what it's called. Data base. JS counter request. Awesome. Let's go to a new tab and let's go to localhost. 3000 and you can see if every time we refresh, we'll see the down there as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It keeps count, right? It's, it's synchronous, right? One, two, three, after another, after another. So let's go back into our application to see what's going on. So in line three, you can see that we're saving the request in memory and on line seven, we are incrementing the request and then we are responding with a request to the user as well as logging them to the council. So our app appears to be working until we run several instances of it. So let's actually go back in the terminal, control C and then do PM two dash I or PM two and then our name, the database dash I and then three. I want to run three instances and let's see what's going on here. Oh, we get an error. Hold on. It's PM to start, start the data in three instances. All right. Now we have three instances. Now let's go back and see what's going on. If we refresh, we get one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Sorry guys. I tried to <laughs> run 3000 instances. So the reason the problem I was having was I only ran three and my CPU doesn't, I guess you could say all the traffic will go to one instance until that instance it's overloaded and then it'll go to the next one. Right? So that's why you saw the, uh, this actually running in sync, like one, two, three, four, five, six. So that way it could actually, we could actually see the demo I was trying to give you. So, uh, let's just, let's just, I'll just tell you. What should have happened was you would see one and then sometimes if you refresh, you would still see one and then refresh, you might see two or you still might see one. My point is, is not the data is not all synced together. You'll get one, one, two, 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 three, and it'll take a while for it to notice that the value has changed. Like, because like I said, all instances have their own memory and that's what they're being, that's what's being used, right? So we don't want that problem. We actually want all the instances to run in the same memory, which hence that's why we're doing a database. Let me actually get rid of this control C. Okay. And then PM two stop. Um, and PM two delete. all. Um, delete all. Um. All right. <clears throat> we could actually fix this problem by actually doing a database. So we're going to actually install a package, uh, a module and it's called node lo local storage. It's like local storage on your browser, but it's for node. So it's going to be local storage on your desktop. So let's do NPM init so that way, and then dash Y. So that way we could get all the stuff, our package manager, our package .json. And now we could do NPM I, dash dash save. So that way you would have it too. And it's called node dash local storage. 
All right, where's our package? There it is, package JSON, and we have our dependency right there. Awesome. Get rid of that. So let's actually include it right here, const. And we're just going to grab local storage from require require and then node local storage and then down below we're going to create a new const and this is going to be our database which is going to equal a new instance of local storage and we want it to save everything in the data folder and we don't have a data folder so we're going to create a data folder let's create a data folder data and inside data let's create a new file called requests okay and we're going to start the the counter off at zero so control save that now obviously this is just a an example you wouldn't want to use local storage you would actually want to do a real database but for right now I don't I wanted something very lightweight so local storage it is um, so yeah this is just to show you how to solve the problem of the uh, how to share in share data between instances so down here instead of doing uh, just spitting out request plus plus or incrementing it we're going to create a variable let request equal and we're going to grab that data from the data file so db dot get item get item and we're going to grab requests requests and down here we're going to set again db dot set item we're going to be setting it and this time we're going to be setting request and then we're going to just increment it by one so request And then we're gonna plus plus requests just like so and we're gonna be we're gonna leave this alone we're gonna count to log that everything else is the same but now we're just grabbing our data from the file and actually setting it up again inside the file so if you did this obviously it's going to work go down here node or I don't even know why I do PM2 anymore but I'm gonna just do it just because you might be able to see it so pm2 start database no da database and then we're going to run uh i don't know 10 instances let's see if that works 10 instances and this is what my computer does so <laughs> all right <clears throat> back online let's actually refresh and you can see that it's actually working okay and i wish i could have showed you Hold on, let me let me try something. No, it didn't work. I tried to do at least a hundred of them, and it's still using one instance to do this. But, anyways, the problem, I mean, the the solution was to actually create a database with our data inside of it, so that way all the instances have one source of truth which is the database. It'll grab the data from the database and then spit out what it needs to spit out. So that way every instance will have a shared memory. And like I said, this is just a simplified version of it, but you could think of it as a longer, uh, a bigger application, all right? But that is it for this video, guys. I was just trying to show you a uh, quick glance of the Z axis of the scale cube, how to actually do data partitioning which is data partitioning scale on the z, z axis i just repeated myself like three times i think um i'm so sorry that the this this thing doesn't work like next time i'll do a virtual machine i don't have a virtual machine so that way i could just cut up my cpu and then just give it very little so that way we could actually see what's going on um but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something leave it a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't like it, <laughs> obviously. Uh, comment down below on what you think I could have done better. Beside the fact that I couldn't show you, obviously, uh, an example, a good example. Also, 
subscribe if you haven't i really do appreciate all of you for watching my videos taking time out of your day to watch my videos and i will see you in the next one bye